So today we're taking a look at Peacekeeper. Now I'm gonna break down Peacekeeper so you know exactly how to play her. Now to get started, let's look at her moveset. First we have the Twisting Blades. Now the Twisting Blades is just a basic attack. You're not gonna use this full combo a lot unless you wanna get parried. It's double lights and then a heavy. It's actually pretty nice because you have that delayed heavy at the end. You can actually use this to faint at the end. Let's go double light, heavy, faint. As you can see, the animation looks like I'm going to go through with it. I'm kind of skipping ahead, but this is just a basic attack. You can use it however you want. By the way, when you see this blue chain link, that means that this has to be pressed in an unbroken sequence. And the next move we have is the Dervish Strike, and it's just a simple light attack into a heavy attack. As you can see, it's just a light into the heavy. So it's basically just the ending of the Twisted Blades. Next, we have the Sword Dance. Now, this is just two heavies back to back. The heavy attack, the heavy attack. Which, you're not going to really use those consecutively like that. Most likely, you'll get dodged or parried. These moves aren't just meant to be thrown out there. Think of the character's moveset as tools rather than just simple moves. Some people like to read certain characters, or like to think they can read certain characters very well. So that's when you can faint people into doing things you want them to do. For example, set up a parry or set up a deflect. Okay, so next we have this slipping lunge. Left analog stick and X. You gotta be sprinting. And I don't know if you noticed this, but she kind of slides forward. I'm gonna run away from the opponent, and that's a pretty long lunge. You can use this to throw people off ledges if you wanna be like that, or just simply an entry into a fight. Something you can do is press X, press RB as soon as you grab them, and you can actually perform three stabs that will perform a bleed on them and actually kill them slowly, so it's a pretty good move. All you gotta do is guard break, and press RB as soon as she touches his body with the sword. You have to do it that way or it won't work. Because if I just grab him and try to spam it, it'll only do two. Something I like to do, especially if I'm near a wall, is grab him, maybe stab him twice, throw him in the wall, lunge into him, and follow up with a simple heavy attack into a light attack. It's a pretty good combo but it, sometimes they'll catch on, so you may have to do something else at the end of that combo, but it's a good way to get a lot of damage in. And something else I like to do, it's kinda, it's kinda cheesy, I'm not gonna lie, but it tends to get people sometimes because they just simply don't expect it. And that is to simply do the same move again. Just simply do the stab two times in a row. I'm telling you, some people just don't expect it. All you have to do is just grab them, just do the stab, and immediately do it again. If you're constantly keeping the opponent on their toes the whole time, sometimes they let the simple attacks just slip through. And through all the changes Peacekeepers went through, the blade is still pretty deadly. We also have the deep gouge. You just heavy attack, then press the light attack button. Like I mentioned earlier, we can use two light attacks into a heavy. That was the first combo I showed you. But now, since we learned more of the moveset, we can mix our moves together. So we're gonna light attack, light attack, into a deep gouge but you gotta press the light attack at the end really quick. Next, we have the dash and thrust, and we have the sidestep strike. Now, these moves are really similar. That's why I'm putting them together. First, we have the dash and thrust. So as you can see, this is a good move, especially if you throw somebody against the wall. You can perform this attack and cover some ground. This is a great move to use during attacks that opponents can't cancel. With it, you get out of the way and you get some damage in. And lastly, we have the reposting stab. This is a deflecting move. If you want to know more about deflects, I actually just recently made a video on how to deflect. So if you want to check that out, it'll be down in the description. All you got to do is dodge into a basic attack with Peacekeeper. And this attack cannot be unblockable. You cannot deflect any kind of unblockable attacks. You only can deflect base attacks. So you want to dodge into the attack and press RT as soon as you dodge. But be careful. This can get baited. They can faint and make you dodge and actually guard break you. So... Just do it at times when you honestly believe that your opponent's going to go through with an attack. It says, when locked onto an enemy affected by bleed, heavy finishers and the second hit of a zone attack are unblockable. Anytime your opponent is bleeding, your moves will become unblockable. For example, I grab, they're bleeding, so unblockable. All right, so let's take a look at Peacekeeper's feats. So our first feat's called Bounty Hunter. It's a passive, you gain health and stamina while you kill another hero. This is a great perk when you wanna maximize your survivability. We also have the Stealth feat. It's a passive as well. You can hide yourself from the HUD, radar, and aim assist. For example, on most maps, point B is in the middle of a lot of minions. You can't really see in the area that well, especially if you don't have aim assist or any type of HUD above that character. So having this will help you be able to hide in that crowd and catch a lot of people by surprise. Also, it helps you to avoid fights as well. And lastly, we have Conqueror. This is also a passive. And as you can see, it says capture control zones faster and picked up boost lasts longer. Now, I really don't use this perk that much, 
but it does exactly what it says. I don't see a noticeable difference to where I always want to have this on. My actual go-to for Peacekeeper is Bounty Hunter. And onto the tier two feats, we have the Fayette Lux. Now it says throw a flash grenade that blinds enemies for a few seconds. So this is a, just a small stun. We also have thick skin, it's a passive. This is gain moderate damage reduction every three seconds. This will allow you to take a little bit more damage. Peacekeeper being a weaker character, this is actually really helpful. This is a perk that I use all the time. And lastly, we have Executioner's Respite. It's a passive as well. It says when executing an enemy hero, gain an extra amount of health based on the execution's duration. This will just allow you to gain even more health while executing an enemy. And for the tier three, we have the crossbow. It's just a basic crossbow. You fire a bolt, medium damage. It'll take a couple of bars away. I like to use it every now and then, especially when I have people that try to run away. And next we have the Pungo Mortis. Now this is an explosive that you can throw. It does moderate damage as well. This is something that I use to clear minions or if there's a huge cluster in front of me. Next we have Sharpened Blade. Attack and flick low damage over time. So think of some of the moves that I showed you earlier in the video. This will just apply the bleed effect to every attack that you do. It's a very good perk. And on this account, I don't have it unlocked, but this is usually a guaranteed when I'm playing Peacekeeper. And Sharpened Blade pairs so well with Fear itself, and that's the tier four perk. This is nearby enemies have lower defenses. So this will give you a radius that once an enemy steps in, they'll have lower defenses. If you match this with Sharpened Blade, it can do a lot of damage. Next for the tier four perks, we have the Catapult. You call in a Catapult to deal massive damage. One sneaky perk to have is the last laugh. Now this perk allows you to drop a high damage grenade upon death and let execute it very situational but when it happens it's pretty satisfying I don't like using it over fear itself simply because fear itself is just so good in my opinion Okay. What are you doing, bro? What is this guy? Wait, is this a bot? I don't know if this is a bot or the guy's controller's disconnecting. Like, who, I feel like whoever's on the other side of this isn't fully playing the game. I don't know. It's really weird. That's what I get. That's what I get. <laughs> 